Shout out to the legend 50 Cent who has a Las Vegas residency in the works that appears to be happening. Now at 49, I think this is dope because he a whole legend out here and he about to be working in Vegas on some C, uh, Celine Dion, Bell Bib DeVoe type stuff. Which so, I mean, and we actually talked Bill about Bill this. Bill hasn't made it yet. They have one out there. New edition does. New edition, I'm sorry. Yeah. Same thing. No, Same group. no, not quite. They're part of it. It's so much easier for the artist, I mean, for the audience to come to you than to move around and, and come to them. Yeah. And the way Vegas is now, at, you know, maybe 10 years ago, I'd have been like, nah, this is not going to work. Yeah. But yeah. now the people who enjoy 50 are the people who have those, you know, those corporate situations going on. They got the money to say, hey, I'm going to go there on a, you know, on a weekend. Same way, like people go, I'm going to go see the Raiders. I'm going to go see 50 Cent. You know, it's crazy. I don't even think it would be crazy, crazy. I think because those those arenas are smaller than, say, if you were going to do like a Verizon, Deer Creek, whatever they call it now. Yeah. You have a dedicated group of people who are like going to pay. It might be something where they package their hotel room, rental car, all and that 50 part. cent tickets. That part. All that is 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 bundled together. I mean, I was I was looking to go see uh, New Edition out there until you know but you have to buy two tickets i was just gonna go out and cat daddy around oh you know oh, you <laughs> by balling? myself okay but, All right. you know um but you what gotta is? buy two tickets but i mean it might be a situation like that and plus when you see the dates when you see uh a new year's eve date that's how you know they really get into the money out there because mm. i'm telling you everything well it's it's what people in, in my business call we call it it's we call it amateur hour because there are people who don't go out any part of the rest of the year but they go out for New Year's Eve. Yeah. Okay. And the thing is, they'll pay premium to come go to come somewhere that they wouldn't ordinarily go in the first place. Once again, this is a this is a money play. I think it's smart. Any, you know, I'm I'm seeing like you said, Wu Tang Clan is out there. New Edition is out there. Yeah. You know, the people that we grew up with are now the Vegas acts. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure Wayne Newton is still out there doing his thing. Probably. Um, maybe. You know, might maybe. I don't nobody going to see Wayne. Hey. You don't know that, bro. Yeah, hey, man. Look, mm -hmm. if I was out there, I'd be like, you know what? I know I want the whole Vegas experience. I'm, cool. I'm going to go see Wayne. <laughs> he said, I'm cool. I'm going to go see <laughs> the, the, the Siegfried, even though they be doing them Tigers wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go see all that. <laughs> no, nah, it, it's, I think <laughs> it's just about time. I mean, this isn't the first time that a hip hop artist has a re had a residency. Drake actually had one right before COVID hit, I believe. Oh, okay. He had a couple dates. So I don't know if it was necessarily considered a, a residency, but I mean, as I was talking about last week, it's it's time for it. I mean, hip hop is the the biggest money making genre, most popular genre of the time. So it only makes sense for the artists to help it become that start their Vegas residencies. And it's not like they're locked into they got to do this every single day. They can just do it a few days a week. I mean, Usher was still touring while he was doing his Vegas residency. He just showed up and showed out and made it happen. I mean, it's just the time is now. Why not get, into, get them coins? No, I'm with you, man. Like, it's, get that paper, man. Like, to Jay Moore's point, a lot of people will spend that bread around that time. So he's going to take, I know 50, you know 50 is about that money anyway, so he's going to take full advantage yeah. uh, of those ticket prices and whatever happens around that time, that mug will be sold out. The thing about Vegas is when you're in Vegas, a lot of times, most of the people are there to gamble. Yeah. So they're there to spend money anyway, especially if they win. So you have multiple options of different artists you can go check out. I mean, any random weekend, you can go to Vegas and there's a pool party and uh, 2 chains might be performing. Mm -hmm. True. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's just Vegas is a different type of animal, man. If anybody has been there, the party don't stop. Even after the party, it's mother shit went on and I don't know it just makes sense for a minute DJs were running uh, Vegas so yeah. like they would be like if you went up the strip there was billboards with whatever DJ was going to be there so I mean DJ AM God bless the dead he was absolutely. getting to it out there yes he was <coughs> they was getting big big bags so yeah Vegas is ready for this hip hop sh I didn't know the DJs was that you uh, put me on to that I didn't know they were getting that paper out there with ah, the yeah. events like mm -hmm. the no know, the no cool like they were the stars you know of these of these big rooms mm -hmm. you know so and it was it was weird about you know some of them had rules about how, how much rap you could play and yeah, yeah weird and yeah. what was crazy is like these are djs that came from hip-hop and they just played the game but it mm -hmm. is what it is